my brain melted when i was thinking about a topic to talk about for the speech over consumption there are probably three galaxies worth of information to process but then i had my eureka moment if you will why did i even pick over consumption in the first place it was because deep within my heart there is a passion for fashion done slowly sustainably one of the places where we over consume our resources grossly is fashion 1 million tons of textile are disposed of annually in india india just so happens to have made it into the top 5 apparel manufacturing hubs the apparel and textile industry cause greenhouse gas emissions greater than the air travel and shipping industry combined however even with population being one of the main causes there's another flamboyantly dressed skeleton in the closet we need to address fast fashion fast fashion combined with social media has caused us as a whole to be has caused us as a whole to be trend chasers over consistently developing our sense of personal style but you might be wondering what a trend cycle is exactly a trend cycle essentially talks about the shelf life of a trend and it's categorized into five stages introduction rise acceptance decline and obsolescence Nowadays things are ultra connected with an emphasis on throwing all that's old out all in pursuit of this art and with the invention of social media our access to the newest trends is a lot less controlled and a whole lot more rapid I chose to use the sudden popularity of halls also known as hyper consumerism city to shed light on this very real issue If you're on social media, chances are you've seen some random influencer buy 10 or more pieces of clothing from various fast fashion brands. There has been a sudden increase in these hauls ever since the pandemic, and I think it's for a much deeper reason. The COVID-19 pandemic wasn't good for the majority of us. It lessened the consumption of human connection and replaced it with the overconsumption of media. Let's face it we essentially use social media to distract ourselves from a premature midlife crisis. And what did everyone over consuming media lead to? Well, for one, it made all of us a lot less happy, but secondly, it also led to us over consuming more tangible material things, most notably fashion and cosmetics. Zara, H&M, and Urbanic as our online therapist pushed us to waste a lot of money and okay and made us develop a careless lavish mindset eating away at our precious earth we were essentially buying a lot of plastic by investing in synthetic synthetic material and throwing it away in a few months i know i am guilty of this are you but that doesn't mean we can't try to reduce the harm we've caused Here are some of the steps I've taken towards a more sustainable lifestyle while still cultivating my sense of personal style. Upcycling. Wikipedia paraphrases upcycling as creative reuse, and I love this definition because it gives us the crux of what sustainable fashion is all about. When we upcycle, we give a garment a new life, and you yourself evolve too. A pair of old jeans turned denim skirt. were was a symbol of my positive growth and was also resurrected into a completely new garment using what you already have this one is quite simple and you think of it as a no brainer but i've noticed that this tip is seldom put into practice whenever you are in need sorry whenever you are in need of a piece of clothing buying shouldn't be your only solution there have been times i've needed a blazer or something and i didn't have one in my closet because which 16 year old buys a blazer unless they absolutely needed one so instead i took a deep dive in my grandpa's closet and used his blazer from the 80s don't be a slow fashion police don't go around having a superiority complex because you're into sustainable fashion understand other people's circumstances and acknowledge your privilege on the fact that you can buy sustainably It was difficult for me to confront how preachy I was about slow fashion, but it also helped me dismantle my ignorance of class differences. Educate yourself. Educate yourself on the lives of your clothes, their origin, where they go when you throw them away, and what they're made of and the brands they associate with. 
If you're questioning prices on a sustainable piece of clothing, teach yourself about the production process of said clothing, from the creation of the textiles to the conceptualization done by designers. Creating a garment is a long process and shouldn't be rushed, nor should we devalue the process gone into making clothes. Honestly, simply upcycling one t-shirt into a fitted crop top took me hours, so I couldn't imagine how long making something from scratch would be. Finally, I want to say that buying fast fashion is not a bad thing if you're doing it consciously and judiciously, knowing the consequences of your action. Fashion affects everything from inequalities in this earth to the quality of water available. Although this topic is nuanced and vast, I hope I've given all of you nuggets of information that encourage you to look deeper into everything you wear and buy, to be a responsible consumer and producer, even when the other option seems easier. Thank you for listening.